and welcome to part four. We are ready to UV map uh, this object and uh, this would be the last part in the series. So first thing first, um, we already set up the materials and uh, we're not able to see that because at the moment the guitar doesn't have any uh, UV coordinates. Um, what I would like to do is, since we are only mapping this front polygon, um, I would like to throw in a modifier called PolySelect. And when you apply PolySelect, you can go to the polygon mode. And Max remembers my last selection, which is what I need, the, only this front polygon. And then if I throw in a UVW map modifier, Notice there is a polygon sign right next to the UV mapping modifier. What that means is currently it's only working on my sub-object selection rather than uh, the entire object. And as soon as we throw in the UVW mapping modifier, we are able to see the texture map on the object. Okay. Now you would notice that the map is a little stretched and if you remember in the beginning I showed you an image uh, how you can avoid stretching of the UVs. Uh, the reason being the gizmo of the UVW map needs to be a perfect square. Right now it's a rectangle and that's why it is stretching your UVs. I can quickly show you if I throw in the unwrap and go to the edit mode you can see the UVs here are stretched which is not good and which is something not what we want. We can manually scale it down if needed but what you want to do is let's get rid of the unwrap UVW here and change this gizmo UVW gizmo to a square. Now some people like to manually scale it or give it some values to make it a square. Uh, the quick way to do that is if you change your mapping type from planar to spherical and then go back to planar and there you go you have a perfect square gizmo for the UVW and now if let's see throw in the unwrap UVW go to the edit mode the stretching is gone and the UVs look the way we want them to be now a couple of ways uh, you can texture map it. I'm not going to go in the details of using the UVW unwrap. That's a whole different beast and would require uh, something uh, like a different series to uh, teach you how to use the UVW unwrap. Uh, and this is also not a great example of using the unwrap tool. Uh, maybe uh, like a low poly character would work the best. So we can scale it down and try to match it with the bitmap image uh, in the unwrap, but for something this simple, I would rather go back to my UVW mapping gizmo and grab the scale tool and try to scale it so it fits the object like that. Yeah, looking almost perfect. Okay, let's get out of the gizmo and yeah, there you go. The image is uh, pretty close to where it needs. Uh, let's see, maybe scale it down a little. Uh, it's kind of not fitting in here properly. So these issues can be fixed in the unwrap. So let's throw in the unwrap and go to the edit mode. And in the dialog, I'm going to choose the map. So I'm looking at the map. And let's zoom in a little. And you can turn on this option called Select Element. And then if you click anywhere, it's going to select the entire, uh, the, all of the UVs. And then we can move it in position like that. And maybe move it something like this yeah looks good let's get out of the unwrap mode 
And if you remember, we were targeting this object to be not in the focus of the camera. So if you're looking at it from this far and then try to quickly render it, uh, it looks good. Uh, let me change the background color. I'll just go to rendering environment and change the background color to light gray and maybe zoom in a little bit more and then render it out. So there you go. You have your guitar perfectly modeled and texture map for low poly scene and uh, if it's not going to be in focus you're good to go. Um, other thing I quickly want to mention is so far it has been okay up until this far but if you need to make any other changes and you want the other modifiers not to be working on that selection you can throw in another poly select here and on this poly select make sure you don't select any polygons and then whatever you do after that is going to work on the entire object um, so for example if I throw in another UVW mapping it's going to work on the entire object and it's going to change or overwrite my previous mapping uh, or any other modifier will be working on the entire object so let's get rid of that and once you're done you can always collapse um, the stack back to editable poly and it kind of bakes in your UVW mapping coordinates on the model I hope that helped and uh, I'll probably see you some other time. This is December 31st, 2009, so Happy New Year to all of you. And uh, this would be the last video for this year from me. Thank you.